Hello, dear friends, and welcome back to our daily women's devotional, I Am Loved, edited by Carolyn Rathbun Sutton. Today is June 2nd, and the title of our devotional is Mercy Extended, Mercy Received, written by Edna May Gallington. The Bible verse is found in Luke chapter 6, verse 36. Be merciful, just as your father is merciful. Edna May writes, Bzzz. I turned over and pulled the covers closer to my head. It was too early to get up. Bzzz. I tried to sleep. Intermittently, the buzz would wake me up. Finally, I got up and began my search. Where was that sound? It was a familiar sound. I heard it as a kid when I captured the big Japanese beetles, the ones with the iridescent green backs. I got a kick out of holding them and hearing them buzz, but this buzz was in my bedroom. I searched the dresser, the clothes on a chair, around a chest, and in a basket of books. Silence. Bzz. Closer. On the bookcase was a beetle lying on his back, his green iridescent underside glowing brightly in the early morning light. I could see he was getting tired. He was pretty. I picked him up. He clung tightly to my fingers with prickly little feet. I opened the back door and held my hand to the breeze. He walked to the end of my fingers and flew off in the wind. I think what I did was called mercy. God talks a lot about mercy in the Bible. I had extended mercy to one of God's creatures. Two days later, I experienced mercy as a gift when I most needed it. My husband and I spent the afternoon at Laguna Beach, walking on the sand, enjoying the sunset, and dining at a little restaurant in town. It was dark by the time we climbed in our SUV to drive home. As I started to back out, I had the feeling I was too close to the car parked beside me, a black Mercedes convertible sports car. My fender touched its fender. To my horror, there was a tiny scratch on that new black fender. As I stood there, the owner walked up, more than six feet tall, 189 centimeters, and very good looking. I am sorry, I dejectedly said. I scratched your beautiful new car. Here's my insurance information. He stooped down to examine the scratch, then stood up and smiled. It's okay, he said. Are you sure? I replied. You don't want my information? No, it's okay, really, he said. And then he gave me a big hug. A hug never felt so good. I was the recipient of mercy that I so badly needed. God is like that. He gives us mercy when we so badly need it. Edna May Gallington is the author of the book called Watching from the Shadows. Through eyes of passion, 24 biblical women tell their stories. She is currently working on a children's book and a devotional book. Man, do we all need mercy. But you know, sometimes we forget to give mercy to others, to be graceful to them, and then we expect God to give it to us freely at any time we want. Let's just remember the times that God has been merciful and gracious and forgiving for us, and let's go ahead and extend that to others, not just our family members or our friends, but maybe people that we may not necessarily like. I hope that you guys are blessed. You enjoyed today's devotional and I will see you again tomorrow.